Hey, can you hear us? <laughs> All right. Well, um, I'm not sure where we dropped off, but I think maybe a very quick brief recap if, if anybody couldn't hear. My name is Sammy, the director of sales at Good Faith Energy. This is Clayton, a senior account executive, and Derek, uh, who is a sales manager with SPAN. Um, and I think we were just starting to get into to really the meat and potatoes of the conversation. Right. So I wanted to ask you, uh, do you believe residential home, whole home battery backup is the future? And if so, why? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So, uh, Scholar. Sammy with Good Faith Energy. Um, I grew up in Plano. Uh, like I've mentioned, I'm the director of sales here at Good Faith Energy. I went to the University of Oklahoma. Uh, originally went to the University of Oklahoma to become a petroleum engineer. Uh, it was my freshman year there, and I learned that Petroleum engineering was not for me. I learned what it actually took to be one, what that really meant for the environment. Um, and luckily enough, I had a brother who was starting a solar company at the time. And so for me, I would come back, you know, work on the rooftop, do the installations, just kind of learning what the industry was. Uh, and it was an industry I fell in love with. And so, you know, that's kind of where I stayed and continued to grow. How are you? Sure, guys. Hey, for, for quick intros, uh, I'm Clayton. I grew up in Plano, Texas as well. Uh, Dallas Fort Worth is home for me. Um, went away to school, went, came back, started my career. Um, got to a point where, you know, this, you know, accounting finance route was where I was going to have to go all in or, you know, switch and pivot to something else. So I had this itch for, you know, solar and Tesla and, and learning what it was. Uh, you know, timing was great. I ran into an old friend I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, at a networking event, you know, eventually joined the team and been here for four years, uh, wearing a number of different hats, uh, uh, you know, doing all the roles. We've grown the small company into a well-oiled machine, pun intended, you know, <laughs> at this point. Um, but just happy to be here, extremely passionate about what we're doing, solar, battery storage, energy management, uh, and the leads is here today. So I'll, I'll kick it over to you. Good, sir. Yeah, Derek Smith. So I'm a sales manager with, with SPAN here in uh, Dallas, Texas. I I've been here for about 20 years and, and went to SMU here locally. And uh, yeah, so I spent my entire career primarily in the energy efficiency space, um, you know, more on the sustainability side, which is adjacent to the renewable side. But um, a couple of years ago, I was fortunate, you know, and lucky enough that timing and, and luck sort of aligned and then SPAN was growing their sales organization in the region. And so I was able to uh, join SPAN um, a couple of years ago. And, the rest is sort of history right at this point. Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Well, um, you know, let's uh, let's maybe start. I, I've been I, I wanted to ask you this question again. You know, we've seen the growth of not only the solar industry, but the battery industry as a whole over the last last few years, especially in Texas after the freeze we saw. Uh, and so I wanted to ask you, you know, do you expect this whole home battery backup? Uh, trend to continue to increase? Is it something you expect to see in more and more homes um, and in the continued future? And if so, why? Yeah, I mean, I absolutely do. I mean, I think that there's a growing interest from homeowners that you know realize that there's a need to de decarbonize, right? And, and generators are loud and they're inefficient and they're, you know, I would say inflexible. And so when you look at the alternative, battery backup, right? It, it especially pairs well with solar. So um, I think that there is going to be a growing demand. You know, I, we've seen quarter over quarter growth, um, you know, over the past few years for battery backup, whole home battery backup, but especially with climate events happening in Texas, especially, um, I think homeowners are looking for more resiliency for their home. You know, during these power outages, they want a way to power their devices and their appliances that are critical to just you know, maintaining some semblance of a, of a life during these <laughs> outages. And yeah. so I actually do um, think that, that whole home energy backup is, is the way of the future. Absolutely. What are your thoughts, yeah. Clayton? <laughs> no, I couldn't agree more. I mean, I wouldn't be sitting here today if, if I didn't believe uh, in this mission that, that, we're, that we're all on here at, at different parts of it. Um, you know, for me, I, you know, come at this at, at a slightly different angle. For me, I love the, the data and the knowledge. What, what SPAN gives you and, and brings to light to you um, is so powerful. And then with that information, you can make decisions and improve your life and uh, save money at the same time and, you know, be prepared for those, those outages. So um, it, is, it is a big, big deal what we're doing. 
Uh, we're just on the on the cusp of it. Um, you know, the the weather events. You know, the you mentioned the the freeze, and then I'm thinking about the other little freeze, and then the wind storm, and then the rainstorm, and then um, you know, and the heat. So yeah, the, we're not there yet, but uh, it's coming back. Um, so I'm just you know grateful and excited to be be here. We're just on on the beginning end of it. And, uh, you know, we've, we've really built a better mousetrap at the end of the day. This, this solar and battery and energy management system is better than anything we had before. And, um, you know, it's fun to be on the front edge of it. Every day is something new and uh, bringing new, new info to, to people who haven't had it before. This is a new, new thing that you kind of have to learn. There's a language to it. Um, but, hey, that's, that's why we're here. I fully agree. I think, uh, I think the battery revolution has just started. And I think, you know, historically – there was a big, you know, big trend in solar. Everything was going you know, solar. It made sense. Net metering was great. It was happening over time. Um, and then, you know, nowadays you've seen this huge shift in, in net metering, what that may look like, uh, not only on a local level, but on a state level and, and you know, potentially on a, on a you know, national level, who knows? Um, but I think there's been this big shift. And so, you know, when you compare, like for me, I look at a battery like a generator and I say, okay, well, you know, generators used to be able to back up homes. Batteries can do the same thing. But nowadays, not only can a battery back up your home, but it can also give, provide you savings. And if you have a solar system, it's going to capture your excess. You're not as concerned with what's happening on a net metering level, right? You're you're becoming more energy independent. You're becoming more energy resilient. Um, and so I think the trend for batteries is only just getting started. And now, hopefully, someday you can say, hey, no, my battery does actually have an ROI as opposed to just presenting it as a luxury item, which that's what it is today. Um, now, I also think span is going to continue to grow with that, right. right? I think, you know, span, the ability and the power it gives you when you couple it with the battery system, mm -hmm. it's, it's second to none. It's very, very impressive. Uh, and especially in, in areas with the new codes, which I'm sure y'all are familiar with. Um, but, um, but, you know, I wanted to also ask, you know, when you look at batteries, the attachment rate compared to just five years ago, you know, how, how different is the world today compared to then? I mean, I'm sure you guys can speak better to, about this, but, you know, in my experience and what I've seen is that the attachment rate is actually going up, you know, pretty significantly if you look at it year over year. And, it used to be people were getting solar only and your net metering point. And I think that now people are looking for that resiliency in their home and being able to use their solar to store and use later. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and so I, I look at span as, as a way to just improve that experience for homeowners and have them be able to get more out of less and, and use their, te their technology to their benefit and really customize it for their life and, and their needs rather than just having a sort of a standard solar and storage experience. Span mm -hmm. really helps to improve that. Um, and ultimately, I think that that's going to continue to promote or increase the attachment rate of storage to solar. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I had a, a thought in my head, a story that came to mind. So um, I was thinking in my head, kind of right as Span was getting started, you know, wouldn't it be cool if you had an electric panel that told you all this information? Uh, so I, I had the idea before Arc did, but no, I'm kidding. Um, but I mentioned it to our, our COO, Master Electrician, who was licensed for our company, genius when it comes to electrical work. I said, you know, I'm not going to say his name, but, uh, but uh, hey, uh, this is a cool idea. What do you think? He said, ah, nah, it's, it's, it's no big deal. It'll, it'll never catch on. It's like, really? This is a great idea. You don't want to have this information. We've got the solar, we've got the storage. This, this brings it all together. No, nah, I'm not interested. So, you know, I'm, I'm reading and researching as I always do come across fan. Hey, this is perfect. This is exactly my idea. This is, you know, this is gold. Uh, showed it to our COO and, you know, no, no big deal. Okay, whatever. So I, I, you know, LinkedIn and tag every single person that's fan on, on the website. One person reaches out, uh, Colin Law. So I uh, got on like a, a webinar thing with him or, you know, Google Meets, whatever. Uh, and he, you know, he's explaining span. He's walking through the presentation. I'm like, this is so cool. CEO is sitting on the side. He's looking at his He's like, ah, okay, no, no big deal. Still not interested. I'm like, this is so good. This is so good. And uh, thankfully, our CEO, CEO was was there uh, as well. And he thought it was a great idea. So we, you know, explored a relationship. And, and here we are today. But uh, and now I think he's come around and uh, the, the world has evolved in just these two short years or however long it's been. 
Um, it changes so quickly and we have to be on, on the cutting edge of it. Um, I know there's some new changes to the electrical codes um, and how cities are interpreting uh, you know, batteries, um, as opposed to, you know, the, the previous electric code, you know, we as certified installers pulling permits, we have to adhere to these regulations. Um, and so, you know, SPAN is perfect, it, exactly what we need. I'm sure you can speak more to that, um, Sammy, but um, it's just, you know, brings it all together. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, when we talk about the codes, the new, there's the new 2020 NEC, there's a lot of restriction for backup systems. I don't want people to think it's a battery thing. It's not, it's a backup system. So whether you're talking generators or batteries, you're adhering to these same codes. And so we're essentially, you know, in the past, you could size a battery system in the event that the highest load would turn on, it can, it can handle that amperage. Nowadays, you're having to size battery systems in certain jurisdictions, assuming the entire panel turns on at, at a single time. And so, you know, we're, we're talking, you know, where in the past, two batteries could back up your main panel. You're now talking six or seven just to abide by the code. Right. Uh, and so, you know, it just it gets to this point where, you know, we can do it, but financially <laughs> it might not make the most sense. Right. And so, you know, when you couple it with a component like a span, it's so powerful. And it's because span is this battery management system. It can allow you to throttle those breakers. Um, and so now you're not having to size six or seven batteries, but you can still size the two and couple it with the stand and you're abiding by the code. Yeah, I think that the fact that span is like a whole home energy management system really allows people to effectively manage their energy better. So you know, rather than just sizing it based on those entire loads, you can prioritize loads to automatically load shed mm -hmm. or you know, load shed based off a certain percentage of battery lifetime left. And that really gives homeowners the ability to manage their energy at their home better. So, I mean, I, I, I hear you. It, the code, the progressive code coming up could make things, you know, cost prohibitive unless you start to explore alternative options of, of you know, how to go about business the same way we have, you know, for a little while. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, and, and not only is it good just to get around code, but it's, it's also a powerful tool to have. For sure. Yeah, for sure. I mean, ultimately, you want to make the best out of your system, I think. Right. I mean, homeowners are looking for that that solution, that whole home solution and span as a replacement to the electrical panel sits at the center of the electrical system. <laughs> right. Like every electron entering and exiting the home goes through the panel. So there's really no reason why it shouldn't be smart. I think the, you know, the real, real power behind it is, you know, the most common question I get asked when I'm presenting a battery is how long can I last in the now yesterday, right? Yeah. How long can my batteries last me? And, you know, the, the, the most truthful answer I can give people is it depends, right? It depends on what you're running and for how long and what it's pulling. And, and so, but nowadays I can say span will tell you and it does and it's so powerful that you know it'll tell you which loads you've got on that backed up system and how long they'll be able to operate for for sure i mean i think that's one cool thing about it is right like traditionally when you install the battery you would have to traditionally when you install the battery you would have to have a dedicated critical loads panel and that only allowed you to control a certain subset of your circuits in your home Span now provides you the ability to control all of your circuits in your home at any given time. Um, and, and I think kind of to your point, what we've seen is by giving homeowners that control, they can get up to 40% more out of a single battery. And so that, that alone, you know, and the fact that we provide data in a homeowner app in terms of, you know, days, hours, and minutes of runtime left in, yeah. in a, that battery system, it's really digestible information so homeowners can make informed decisions about how to use their energy to get the most out of their, their system. Absolutely. Wow. Uh, for those of you just joining us now, uh, thank you. My name is Sammy. This is Clayton. This is Derek from SPAN. And today we're talking to you about energy management. Um, and so to your point, that increase of 40%, I mean, that's a, that's a powerful number, 40% longer in a battery, in an outage situation where you're already concerned, how long is this, is gonna, this outage going to go for? How long am I going to be able to survive? How long can I keep the heat on? And so now you've got this tool that is going to increase that by 40%. 
if, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe 40% is your conservative estimate, right? <laughs> right. I mean, it, it depends on the homeowner, right? Every situation is unique, but some will want to keep lights on or they'll want to keep appliances on. Some might just pare it down and say, I just want to make sure that my refrigerator stays on. Uh, so it depends, but okay. uh, yeah, I mean, we could see, we could see significant sort of uh, movement in terms of that. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the beauty of this. You get to choose, you're in control. Uh, you know, the utility can change the rules and then you kind of take back power from them. That's, that's you know, the Texas way is I'm going to, my way or the highway, but uh, no, lo love the span. Uh, recently had a span installed in, in my home. So um, solar and batteries to be installed here soon. So I'm kind of playing with it, toying with it, uh, turning off circuits, freaking out my family, but don't worry about that. It's all, all, all testing. Um, but you know, I love, love the data, love the information it gives. Uh, you mentioned that, um, you don't have the need for a, a critical loads panel or non-critical loads. Um, so, you know, that helps in our installation process, helps us save money for the homeowner. Hey, you don't need this extra box and move these breakers and the labor and extra wire to put that together. It's great. It's just, you know, one more tool. Um, you know, we, we kind of said earlier, you know, early on it was solar only and then it's batteries and then, and now it's span and it really brings the whole thing together. You have your energy generation, you have your energy storage, and then you have your total, you know, computer yeah. to, to manage everything. So, uh, you know, great tool. I know we're on version 2.0 and yeah. there's more things coming and you guys are a young company. So, uh, what's, uh, what's coming down the pike? I'll throw you a softball and let you, let you walk through that one. I mean, I think a lot, a, a lot's coming down the pike, right? We are a young company, but we're a well-funded growing organization. So our flagship product is obviously the span panel. Um, recently we released uh, span drive, which is our EV charger, which is plays in really well into the ecosystem, especially from an electrification standpoint. Um, a lot spans a mission driven company. We want homeowners to adopt renewables and to, and to electrify their homes. And so one of the biggest, you know, one of the first paths down, or steps down that, that path of electrification is the adoption of an EV. And so our EV charger, in essence, allows people to get that full level two residential EV charging experience at home without all of the headaches of potentially upgrading their service feeds or derating the charger to an undesirable charge level. Um, so you know, Span Drives recently released, um, it's an internet connected product. So things that we do on occasion when, when we have big releases is push over the air updates, just making the system better. Um, and so I think over the course of this next year, we're gonna see a lot of, of software improvements potentially that, that make that homeowner experience even better. I think, uh, you know, everything you just said is one of the reasons I love Span. It, it's, you know, the, our values between Span and Good Faith Energy are aligned, yes, right? Very much. Um, you know, at Good Faith, we believe in an ethical sales process, a high quality install, long term service. But we, what we don't want to do is just throw panels at a system. Say, oh, okay, let's throw as many pan, let's throw as many batteries as we can. No, what we want to do is we want to create a customized, you know, ecosystem, some uh, you know, a whole, um, you know, a customizable solution. Something that's gonna not just throw, but it's gonna be a real solution. Right. Something that's gonna last you a long time and it's gonna work for you, right? You can always throw panels at a problem, but is that really the problem? Um, and so I love that about Span. I love the fact that you know they're pushing the electrification, not only of the panel, but the, the span drive, the ability to throttle, very, very interesting. Um, but that does lead me to a question, the one I have for you, Clayton, and I wanted to ask you, what are some of the most common questions you get asked while in people's homes? Sure. Uh, before I get to that, I thought of something you said. You said uh, the software update is being pushed to my main electric panel. So things I didn't expect to, to know for, for two hundred dollars. I mean, uh, how cool is that? I mean, it just, it just gets better over time, just like your phone, just like your car. Now, now this right. is for your home. This is the most right. important thing. Um, if, how long are you going to go without power for your home? Uh, not long before you start knocking on neighbor doors and, and figuring out a, a plan B. So. Um, you know, we, we laugh and joke about this stuff, but it's serious work that we're doing. Um, it, it has a real impact on, on people's lives and, you know, it's, it's great for, uh, for that. So, um, you know, I'd yeah, love to get to your question and, you know, quick, quick, uh, shout out to, you know, viewers watching, mm -hmm. ask us your questions. We've got Q and A coming up. Um, the most common questions that I get, uh, Sammy, uh, about people interested in span. So, you know, I had, I had an interested, you know, uh, call this week 
he's asking about span. How does it work? Hey, I've got um, a unique electrical system. Mm -hmm. You know, how, how, do, how do we put it all together? So um, the first question is, you know, what does your electrical system look like? A home that was built in 1950 is not the same home <laughs> that was built in 2022. Yeah. That, that's just the reality of what we work with. So uh, we have to come up with a, a custom solution um, depending on what codes we've you know, was installed 20, 50, 70 years ago um, versus what is being asked of us uh, to pass, you know, inspection in, in today's world. So, you know, the most common questions I get, you know, how long will my battery last? That's the number one question. You know, that's the, that's the concern. That's that's the pain point people are dealing with and the reason that they're reaching out mm -hmm. and, uh, and want to get this, um, you know, security for, for their home. So the nice thing is, hey, Spam will tell you uh, and you're in control and you have some automatic uh, pieces put in place. So um, you know, it makes, it makes our job very easy to, to recommend uh, because of what the software could do, because that's what the demand is. That's what that's what people are asking for. Um, you know, the, there's questions around code. You know, how many batteries do I need? And, um, you know, the nice thing about Span is we can say, hey, you know, you have the ability to, you know, we say uh, we can build the ship, but you have to have to captain the ship. So we're going to give you the tools. We're going to give you the solar. We're going to give you the batteries. And then it's up to you, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, to, uh, you know, run run your race and you're in control the whole time. Um, so I'd say those are probably the most most common questions I get. I think it's cool that they can run their race, right? They have the ability to do it. Yeah. Um, no, that's, that's really, really good insight. Uh, so really what I'm hearing is, you know, more spans. More controllability, less less chance of going completely out because you have that uh, that controllability inside of your your app mm -hmm. with the batteries and the span is reading both. It's yeah. super super cool. Yeah. Um, or what's your alternative? I mean, you're just going to go with status quo and just be at the mercy of what uh, Encore, CoServe, or you know X Y Z utility around the country. <laughs> um, I don't know. Has has your electric bill been going down or going up lately, Sammy? I mean, it says moving the wrong direction, which means it's going up. Um, yes. Yeah, so I'm in an apartment. I will put stand the solar and batteries go. on my home as soon as I can. Fair enough. Uh, but let me ask you: Are there limitations to traditional uh, and simple solar plus battery backup on your home? As yeah, you want to take this one? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we, we touched on it a little bit earlier, but the fact that you were sort of locked into having a static technology, right? That, that sub panel to only control a certain number of circuits in your home. I think that's less ideal. I think homeowners are really looking for that whole home backup, right? That whole home energy management. Um, and SPAN really provides individual granular level, circuit level energy insight and circuit level control. And so um, I, I sort of look at it and say, you know, the, the constraints, you know, you look at it and say, okay, price versus performance and, and things like that. But then when you get into being able to really manage it and, and get more out of less, I think that that really opens up the, the doors to adoption and, and growth within the, the market. Absolutely. Um, I think uh, I think we keep talking about one feature of the span. We keep saying what it can do for you in an outage, but the span can operate for you all the time, right? Uh, so, can you tell us a little bit more about you know what a span can do for you day to day? Yeah, I mean, basically, it is the brain of the home. Yeah, it's sure. Um, <laughs> basically, it's the brain of the home, right? I mean, it replaces the existing traditional electrical panel, um, but it is an energy management system, so it provides individual circuit level energy usage and individual circuit level control. So within the homeowner app, we can homeowners can see what their solar generation is. They can see what their home's consumption is, what they pulled from the grid, what their state you know, charges on their battery, and then go in and really click in to each individual circuit and see, you know, not just real time, but historical data on that on that individual breaker, that individual load. And that allows people to you know, see anomalies and see trends and really understand how their energy is being used. And really for, for some homeowners, they dig down really deep and they find you know, these anomalies in their homes that their HVAC is running 24 hours a day, you know, 365. Wow. And those are real impacts on their bills at the end of the year. And so SPAN helps to identify those those vampire loads, as they call them. <laughs> yeah. um, and so that homeowners can take the, the necessary steps to, to take control of their energy. So you're telling me if I'm on in, on a trip to Hawaii, and I'm 
scared i left my oven on right i can jump in and turn that on <laughs> the peace of mind that it provides i think is one of the key value props right it, to your point right anytime i get to the airport with my family going on a trip i get that question like, did we turn this off right <laughs> and, and so this allows homeowners the ability to go in and see if that that you know device or that that appliance is actually on mm -hmm. and then if it is be able to turn it off remotely from anywhere in the world wow so it's a uh, it really is a piece of tech. I mean, the electric panel has not been really innovated in the past hundred years. And so there's no reason it can't be a safety device and perform that core function that an electric panel does. Mm -hmm. you know, it should be smart. Mm -hmm. To your point, you get it from everything else in, in your life. You should get it from the center of your electrical system on your home, which is, for most people, the single largest asset that they have. That's a great point. Well said, yeah. Uh, I know for me, so recently had this fan installed, uh, as I mentioned. So for me, I wanted to know, you know, how much am I using at, at a circuit level in my home? So I thought that leaving the lights on would drain a little bit more power and that some heavy appliances weren't using as much. So I'm yelling at the kids, turn off the light, turn off the light, turn off the light. I'm still doing that, but, uh, but now it's more as a lesson than I'm wasting a bunch of electricity. No. Uh, but my my, uh, my dryer in my house uses way more energy than I thought I would that, than I thought it would. Right. So now you know I'm I'm kind of thinking all right the next thing that I want to do to you know take control reduce my you know carbon footprint all those things is maybe look look at that uh, avenue. So uh, lights okay I guess I'm covered you know it's only a couple hundred watts I can turn every light on and you know have two solar panels and I and I'm good. Uh, but my you know HVAC and my dryer those are big ones that I need to focus on. So kind of when I'm thinking ahead to the next steps uh, didn't really know that before span so it's it's nice to have that you you bring up a lot of good points right i mean i think that when you start clicking in and really diving into the data that span provides you can not only see the usage right and see some trends that could potentially help you get ahead of costly replacements on appliances but it also makes you start thinking about like is this the, the path i want to be going down do i really want these appliances that are consuming this much energy and especially with things like the Inflation Reduction Act, where there are tax credits and, and rebates coming out from the federal government that are going to basically incentivize and help people to further go down this path of electrification. Mm -hmm. um, having something like SPAN or an energy management system is, is really going to allow people to understand how to prioritize as they go down that path. Yeah, for sure. I know uh, Inflation Reduction Act was big for solar, extended the solar tax credit for the next 10 years. Yep. Uh, it increased it from 26 back up to 30. So, you know, we were certainly happy about that part of it. Uh, the electrification uh, piece of it as well is really big. I know in, in your world, certainly, uh, and, you know, homeowners around the country who are looking to upgrade and, you know, make their homes more energy efficient, all, all of this ecosystem comes together. Yeah. Um, you know, we're, the, the most important part of your home, you know, the electrical, you know, box that brings power to your home. Uh, it's kind of funny, you know, if you think about it from a couple of different ways. So, uh, at, at some point it was like, you know, my dishwasher's internet connected, my microwave, I'm like, really, we're, go we're going, this is the route that we're going down. Yeah, my toaster, uh, my toaster, like, I, I don't know, I, I don't eat enough toast, I guess, but, uh, but this actually, when you, when you say it for the first time, it may not make sense, but when you take a step back, think about it, this is where all of the energy from your home comes mm -hmm. and it, it's an important piece. And, uh, the data is great toaster, microwave, fridge, you know, <laughs> maybe not so much, but this, this is, uh, really cool tool and we're you know glad to have it and uh, be a certified partner with you guys certainly yeah I think you guys are are one of our best partners right I mean early I think you installed the first panel in hey. Texas and so <laughs> wow so for several years good faith has been you know a premium quality partner the ideal partner for us right someone that is ethical as you mentioned and has the homeowner's best interests in mind and, and really looking to offer just a like a very good solution for homeowners and not just concerned about the number of projects that you're going through. So, you know, I commend you guys for being early adopters in SPAN and sort of believing in our mission as well and, and making it part of your offering. Absolutely. No, we're, uh, we're, we appreciate y'all onboarding us and then being such great partners as well and allowing us to, to be able to offer, offer the SPAN panel. Um, I mean, it's, it's a great product. It's, you know, there's, there's so much there's so much good I can say about the span, but it really all boils down to it's an incredible product. It's, I mean, it's so powerful um, and helps tremendously in those 
you know, in day to day, but to me, more importantly, I think what my customers are more concerned about is during outages. Mm -hmm. And I think it's so powerful during those times. Right. And a lot of these projects require main panel upgrades anyway. Yeah. Right. And that's the, the, the unfortunate reality <laughs> and, and sort of the genesis of our company. Our, our founder, Arch Rao, was former head of products at Tesla Energy. And through the deployment of you know, tens of thousands of these systems across you know, the country and the world, he, he saw the main panel upgrade happening frequently. And people were taking off the old, old gray box and putting on a new gray box. And, <laughs> and so you know, I think that that sort of plays well into like why span is important, right? Break with tradition and, and really put in a piece of technology that's future forward for the homeowner um, and really enables them to get the most out of, out of their system in their life. I think that's a great point too. It's, uh, you know, it's a great time. Well, if you were to need a, a main panel upgrade, it's a great time to do it with solar and batteries and to do it with a span. Mm -hmm. You know, you can claim that 30% tax credit on the entire system right. as long as you qualify for it. Mm -hmm. uh, and that way, it's, you know, it just makes a little bit more sense and you can save a little bit, mo a little bit more off your taxes. Um, so that, that I mean, it's a, it's a really, really good point. And you know, I next wanted to go in and talk about, you know, why is it important to include a load management product like SPAN in your solar installation? I know we talked about it very briefly, but I want to get your your view on it from, a, from an installer, our view on it, and kind of talk about why it's so important then. Yeah, so uh, it's, it's very important um, because you know, the whole reason that you're going solar and battery in the first place. Mm -hmm. It is, you know, your, your central hub, your home, uh, for all of your all of your needs in, in this area. So yes, yes, we're looking to save money. Um, yes, you know, tax credits are great, uh, but we're really looking for energy resilience, uh, energy independence. Um, you know, it, it's the, the pain point when when folks call in and ask, you know, hey, I'm interested in solar and, and battery and span. I'm tired of the utility, you know, squeezing every little dollar, you know, out of out of my life, or out of my world. And this helps to, you know, squeeze, squeeze back and, and push back against that. So um, every little bit that you can do to be aware, to be knowledgeable, um, to manage your energy is, is a home run. I mean, this is a this is a cool product. It's a technology thing. You know, there's YouTube videos that go into all the details. All that stuff's wonderful. But you know, as you mentioned at the end of the day, like when you need it most, when there's that outage, is it 20 minutes? Is it you know five days when it's 10 degrees outside in Texas when that never happens and we have like serious health concerns for you know for people um that that stuff does matter so that that's that's why i think uh, i think it's a really really good point and i heard you say when you need us most mm -hmm. and i think you know that phrase is so powerful especially because there's so many companies out there installing systems mm -hmm. but are they going to be there when you need them most and so, you know, here at Good Faith Energy, like I, I mentioned this very briefly, I want to go over it one more time, so I'll bear with you. <laughs> um, but we really do focus on an ethical sales process. It's the most important thing for us, right? There's so many people saying different things. We're going to give it to you straight. Uh, secondly, you know, we, we focus on a high quality installation, which means we need to control that. So we have our own project managers, our own engineers, our own install teams, our own service crews, it's all done in-house for us. Um, but most importantly, we focus on long-term uh, long service. It's a 25-year system. We want to be here for that time, support you. And that's what I mean when I say we're going to be there when it counts, right? It's This is not something that you're just going to go out on you in five years, but this is something that we're here to keep track of and support you with for the next 25 years. This is a marriage, so we're going to get married, um, and we're not going anywhere. So, you know, I just wanted to kind of talk a little bit about GFE. We also have a promotion running this month. It's a vacation to Hawaii. If you purchase solar and a stand, awesome. um, you get entries. We're giving away a raffle. It's, a 12, it's up to $12,000. You know, we're giving away flights, uh, hotel rooms, so whatever it takes. I might have to uh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, come on. Get an entry in the uh, name in the entry. So Let's go. We now you can go to Hawaii and turn off that, that uh, oven for your phone, right? Awesome. <laughs> you can go to our website. The drawing will take place on April 3rd, 2023 on Good Faith Energy's live stream. You can find more information on our website. Um, but give us a call if you're interested. We're happy to help. Um, 
Now, I wanted to next open it, open up the conversation. If anybody has any questions, please put them in there. Pablo is working behind the camera, can see them, and he will let us know. And we're, we're excited to you know, take some questions from y'all. He said, Pablo, are there other load management options? Um, so the answer is yes. The answer is yes. There are other load management options out there. Um, there's Savant, there's Lumen, there's a few different ones. Personally, I've never worked or I have, I'm yet to work with one quite as powerful as Span. Span's my personal favorite. The other companies are great. I would never talk poorly about anybody. They're good options. Uh, but I just think the, the price point you get with the Span and the number of breakers you're able to control with it it's so unique and so powerful um any any that you've come across yeah I've come across a handful and it's a and it's an evolving market and things are you know coming online and, and changing quickly here thankfully we've had a couple of years experience with span so you know when somebody else comes out with a brand new product kind of have to work through the kinks um you know there will be other competitors as you guys have known the more success you have the more competitors you'll have <laughs> right. um and it's a it's a growing need in this space and you know new homes that are being built you know who's to say this doesn't become electrical code one day you have to have an internet connected energy management device you know i'm sure you guys won't be the only ones uh you know that have you know folks knocking on your door um so you know we've seen a couple couple different ones some that do kind of a smaller setup um but span you know in, in today's world in today's market this is the best best way to go uh that's why we partner with you guys that's why we like working with you so much um but you know again it, this this industry is moving so quickly changing so rapidly um, there will be other players, but you guys are on top of your game, and we, we expect you guys to continue to evolve with the, with the market. I, I think it says, it's not, and I agree with you, there's there's a few different options right out there. Um, it really comes down to what's the best homeowner experience and how do we give homeowners the ability to get the most out of their system. Um, I, I think it's a testament to what we're doing that we're seeing a, you know an increase in in competition and other manufacturers entering, entering the space that we're really onto something and that this truly does make the system better, make the homeowner experience better. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, we have uh, another question. It looks like, uh, you know, Colleen asked, will the span panel work with a totally off-grid system or is it made to work with a combo solar utility company connection? So I think we're looking at a fully off-grid versus one that's still connected to utility. Right, I think right now we're geared primarily towards the utility connected system. Um, you know, there's a growing demand for fully off-grid systems, but you know, Span is a young company. We have to pick and choose, right? Where, where we focus our energy, where we focus our R&D development. Um, and so right now that, that's the direction that we're taking. Um, but you know, with the pace of, uh, just R and D and development that we have on our end, I wouldn't be surprised if, if sometime down the road we had that fully off grid option. Absolutely, uh, Joe. Joe looks like one of our engineers. Uh, he asked, "Will there be a sub panel span with more than, or I'm sorry, will there be a span with more than 32 spaces?" I get this question a lot, especially here in <laughs> Texas, where you know there's a pretty big load centers already existing. Um, so. Right now, there's a couple different options. I mean, there's always the ability to use two or more span panels um, or tie off a, a standard sub panel from one of the individual branch breakers to give you a few extra spaces. Um, but we have heard this feedback from the market. So, you know, I, I, I wouldn't say anything's imminent, but we definitely have a very good feedback loop and voice of customer within our organization. And so I know there has been discussion about you know, larger panels or smaller panels, right? Mm -hmm. So that we can effectively hit every combination and every application within you know, the residential built environment. So, <laughs> you know, you look at it nationally and 32 spaces is, is typically normally enough. <laughs> yeah. but everything's Welcome to Texas. Texas. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. uh, I've got a funny, funny quick story. So a uh, friend of the company, uh, Ricky Roy, he runs a YouTube channel called Two Bit Da Vinci. You haven't uh, yes. seen him check him out yeah. but he had lunch with uh, our team or dinner one night when he was in town and uh he's like you know how's the summer going how's the sales going um you know what's i told him hey my my home i think i used like 2700 kilowatt hours last month and his mind was just blown he's like how in the world do you guys use so much energy and he said you know does it get does it get cold at night because he's in san diego you know it's they don't use hvac as much as we do 
So I said, no, it's like 80 degrees, you know, at night, throughout the night, all the time. I'm running the AC 24 seven. And he had his aha moment. He's like, oh, okay. That's why the Texas market is different. <laughs> That's why your usage is so high. That's why you guys need 32 or more spaces, big homes, big HVAC, um, big, big usage. But, you know, everything's bigger in Texas. And Everything <laughs> is bigger in Texas. <laughs> Sorry, I had to squeeze it in. No, I love it. Um, and I do have a question. So, you know, you mentioned, you know, we can couple that stand with the sub panel uh, if you need more than 32 spaces. So my question to you is, is when is Stan going to put out a sub panel stand? <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, I think that's part of this, this long-term roadmap. Um, as we continue to develop our hardware portfolio, I expect there to be, you know, not just a larger panel, but also a smaller panel. There's applications. Um, we see different configurations across my region and nationally mm -hmm. where you might have some small sub panel on the exterior of the home with, you know, 240 volt loads and then your 120 volt loads on a sub panel on the inside of the house. And mm -hmm. so Yes. I mean, I, I can't put a date on when that's coming out. Um, Come on, I need one that right, right, right. Next to it in the next live stream. But, but that voice of customer and that feedback loop has, has been articulated to our team, and, and they do a really good job of listening, keeping their ear to the ground. So I wouldn't be surprised if, if that was part of our portfolio you know, sometime in the, in the future. Absolutely. Um, we have a question. Are there any plans for compa compatibility options with the Franklin A power batteries and the A gig? Yeah, so you know, one product that we recently released is called the remote meter. So currently, Span has native integrations, meaning no extra hardware is needed for integration with Tesla Powerwall, um, LG Cam, and then Solar Edge Energy Bank. Uh, but we see that there's, you know, to the point about, is this a growing market? Right? <laughs> we see a lot of new players entering the space, and so it's important for us to be able to support our partners, you know, in our effort to really get span on every home, right? And allow people to adopt renewables and electrify. So remote meter initially will unlock end phase integration, but eventually as we work through that integration process from an engineering perspective, um, we hope that it will continue to unlock newer AC coupled batteries such as Franklin um, or generators or, or you know, <laughs> whatever the market sort of demands, right? We look at it primarily or historically from a market share perspective. Um, and now this, this remote meter, which is shipping next month, I believe. Um, so it's, it's a really good way to, and, and yes, you can co-locate co span right now with any battery type. It's just about whether or not you get the full features and benefits. So I think that's what remote meter will, will do that for Franklin eventually. Very awesome. cool. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know. We get that question quite a bit. Not only with Franklin, but yeah. with all the different batteries out right. there. Yeah, there's no way that this is the only battery option five years from now. No. Ten years from now, there's a hundred different battery options. Uh, you know, your software team is going to be busy integrating everything <laughs> yeah. together, uh, certainly. But you know, for for good reason. And um, this is just going to keep going, keep getting better. There's the demands out there that people you know want to uh, integrate this into their home, certainly. So. Absolutely. Well, I think we have one time for one last question. Um, Colleen has said, since the span panel is Ethernet and or Wi-Fi connected, what happens if the router goes down? It's a good question. Um, so span has multiple connectivity methods, right? Like ideally you do hardwire directly to the router. And if that's not possible, then there's Wi-Fi as a secondary option, but there's actually cellular LTE located on the panel. So there's a small signal in case of that scenario where the router goes down, where we're able to provide the homeowners that level of uh, you know, information through that cell signal. And we incur all of those costs. We don't pass those to the homeowner. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, uh, Derek, I want to thank you so much for yeah. joining us today. Thank uh, you we guys for having me. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Uh, we want to also thank Arch Rao and the team at SPAN for such an incredible partnership. Uh, thank you to those of you in the audience for tuning in. We really appreciate you joining us. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to any of us. <laughs> um, you can find our contact info in the description of the video below. Um, lastly, if you're giving away a free trip to Hawaii, if you're interested, go check it out. <laughs> um, and then if you're also interested in learning more about solar, home battery backups, roofing, energy management systems, 
give us a leave us a comment uh, below or follow us on any of our social media channels those are all linked below as well uh, as soon as you are ready for a quote simply fill out the form on our website goodfaithenergy.com uh, and one of our in-house consultants one of our in-house sales engineers will give you a call thank you uh thank you all for joining us one last time i really appreciate your time today uh, and we hope you have a great rest of your day